1995. They're suffering war, drought and hunger. Now Afghanistan's latest disaster has left many thousands homeless. Local officials say around 1,800 people died when a powerful earthquake struck an area north of the capital, Kabul. Agencies reckon the death toll is probably a lot lower, but up to 30,000 have lost their homes. Using planes and helicopters, British-led peacekeepers are expected to shuttle supplies to the affected areas. The feeling is that much of the, the food, the tents, the blankets, materials that will be needed are already available in the north, uh, in, in Puli Kumri and in Mazar. So we expect to be able to respond even more fully once we know the situation. At least eight people have been killed in a shooting in Paris. Eighteen others are wounded, eight of them seriously. It happened near the city hall in the western suburb of Nanterre. A man's been arrested. The motive for the attack's not yet clear. Detectives hunting for missing Surrey schoolgirl Amanda Dowler say they haven't given up hope of finding her alive. Yesterday, an actress retraced Millie's last known steps for TV's Crime Watch. Officers are refusing to rule out the possibility that the 13-year-old may have run away with a secret boyfriend. Obviously, we're trying to jog people's memories. Um, people were, were around this area at the time she disappeared. Um, we know that this is a very busy area, very busy road, um, and we fully expect that someone must have seen her on this road here. Never accuse acting legend Robert De Niro of not knowing a good script when he sees one. He's teamed up with former comic Ben Elton and poodlehead rocker Brian May to produce a musical featuring Queen's hit. The story, set in a harsh future, sounds enough to send anyone gaga. The idea was that there are rebels and individuals still existing on Earth who hark back to a time when the kids could rock and, and they dream of a day which they call the Rhapsody when they will one day rock again. And Here's the sport. England's under-21s maintain their unbeaten run since David Platt took charge despite being totally outclassed in the first half against Italy. The visitors went ahead through a tasty goal from Massimo Macaroni, but a much improved performance after the break was capped by skipper Gareth Barry, who poked the ball home to earn England a draw. With Premiership managers getting twitchy about the title race, Sven Joran Eriksson has promised to use his stars for just 45 minutes in tonight's World Cup warm-up with Italy. A lengthy injury list also provides the chance for a few fringe players to claim a Far East place. In Paris, Bertie Votes leads Scotland out for the first time in a kick around against the all-conquering French. Elsewhere, Wales play the Czechs, while Northern Ireland are in Liechtenstein. Here's the weather. Temperatures should range from 9 degrees in Tomatin to 15 in Whitney. It's a glorious morning for most of us, but there'll even be some wet patches in Scotland. Later rays of light are keeping it bright. Here's the five-day forecast. Scotland and Northern Ireland make that hay while the sun shines. Showers from Saturday. It's not grim up north. A touch of weekend woes shouldn't change that. And the south is looking good, but don't get too excited. A soggy Easter Sunday is expected. That's it, now it's back to Richard. That'll be good, that'll be good. Should be, do you think that work? Yeah, of course. Hang on. Oh, great bulletin! <laughs> yeah, great <laughs> bulletin! <laughs> wow, well, engrossing. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Jasmine Lawson? Just won't turn up for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Would we notice? <laughs> <huh? laughs> do you really need to be a trained journalist to, do, to read the auto cue? I'll tell you what, fax me the script, I'll do it. All right, there we go. <laughs> Jasmine Lawson. OK. <laughs> OK, here we go. Here's the headlines this morning. <laughs> she actually is a trained journalist. We wouldn't realise that. Uh, three years at somewhere. Anyway, Mike. <laughs> here we go. Here's the front of the sun today. And Britney's on here, and uh, she's, she's being attacked. You see, what did you say there? Britney, has she blown it? And, and <laughs> sure she has an attack. Now, we know she doesn't engage in anything like... Anyway, the point is... <laughs> The point is, the press turning against her. She's got a load of bad press today. The press turning against her because she came to promote her film Crossroads and then went to the premiere. She kind of snubbed the fans and they're angry about that. And I'm going to defend her because I have a really nice encounter with Britney later on in this morning's show. Um, and I feel a bond with her. And I would say, look, she's obliged to come here contractually to promote a film. She's probably tired, jet lagged. She only has 24 hours. She sees the fans. She, she, she doesn't want to talk to them. She's not at her best. You know what I mean? Let her go. It's just a shame the programme's better than the film. Uh, <laughs> no, Mikey. It's a, let me tell you something. It's a pleasant watch, uh, the film. Although I was a fan of Meg Richardson in Crossroads, which I'll bring up later with Brittany. Good luck. Um, now, uh, also, in, in, 
in the mirror today as well, it says, uh, it says that uh, she, Britney didn't know who Tony Blair was, and they're angry in the mirror because they said, who's Tony Blair, and she didn't know, and they think that's stupid. But I think that's unfair as well. She's an American. He's a leader of a European country. If she went to Germany, would she know who Gerhard Schroeder was? No, of course she wouldn't. If she went, she went to Holland and said, do you know who Vim Koch is? She'd say... <laughs> <laughs> She'd say what? Of course not, I'm a virgin. Um, but anyway, let's go over... <laughs> well work. Let's, well let's, work. Go, let's go over. Let's go over. Starting to get it right in the dying days, Mike. Uh, no, you're oh, doing it and finally you're getting this paper review. Yeah, yeah thanks. It's <laughs> getting funny, it's just a shame it's not going to be funny on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, on Monday, I'm just going to do it to myself at home. I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to see nothing changes there, then. <laughs> <laughs> you bowl them, I'll bat them. Yeah. Uh, it's nice, it's nice, it's double angle thing. This is fun, isn't it? And... Uh, <laughs> okay. Didn't really work, let's drop that. <laughs> let's, go, let's go on to the uh, Daily Mail. And uh, there's a story there, one-armed bandits, and uh, the, uh, there we are, look, so they made a fruit machine with some government ministers. Um, they have a look at that, go close in on that. Some fruits missing, Michael Portillo, Peter Mandelson. Um, <laughs> the lemon is missing, the, uh, the ball bloke runs the Tories. <laughs> For Robin... <laughs> and for Robin Cook, they could have used a prawn. Yeah. <laughs> but it says that uh, also, so the mail are outraged now that uh, they're relaxing the gambling laws and there's going to be just lots more gambling, which is uh, good news. Yay! Uh, and uh, there we go. And just finally, on the Daily Telegraph, and this is, uh, you know, a, a, a devastating story, really, that's just been ignored by the tabloids. Quake adds to agony of the Afghans, and this has been an, an earthquake in Afghanistan. Um, and actually, the death toll could be at least as high as that of September the 11th, and yet not a single mention um, on, uh, on any of the tabloids. And there we go. So it's been described as an act of God. Uh, so uh, not, not the Americans this time. Uh, causing trouble in, the, in Afghanistan. Once again, we're on the lookout for a mysterious bearded gentleman of Middle Eastern origin. Uh, not happening again. Anyway, there we go. There's your front pages. Uh, and uh, now, I believe... Ah! Guess what it is now? It's the Britney Spears videotape, which is in two parts. It's me chatting to her. And here is the first instalment. Yay! Hello there. I'm outside a posh hotel in London. Uh, I'm here to interview Britney Spears. Uh, it, these are fans of Britney. Hi, hi, hi. Are you invited in? No, no, no. Am I invited in? Yes. 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 Are you jealous? Yes. Of course you are. And apparently, she is a fan of mine. I've read this, uh, so this should be an enjoyable encounter. Here we go. Hit me, baby, one more time. Britney, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Good. I'm, I'm really well. Good. I'm sort of bubbling with excitement. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I enjoyed your film. This is a new film, and it's called Crossroads. Yes. And uh, it's kind of, it's like a, a road movie, basically, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's a road trip movie. A, a road definitely. trip movie. Uh -huh. Okay. And, and your character kind of, like, actually becomes a singer during the film. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this, I imagine there's quite a lot of you in there. Um, you know what, I think the fact that Lucy got up and ran away, and um, I didn't actually run away, I can't relate to that, but the fact that she left a small town and went to the big city to pursue her dreams, I can relate to that to a certain extent. Because do you know that in, in this country, crossroads means something else entirely? Did you it know means that? a soap. A soap something. opera, Somebody yeah. told me, oh, soap opera, I thought it was a soap. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay, my bad. Oh, no, 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 someone's confused you. It's yeah. an old TV series that is now facing the... It's not a very good TV series. Okay. And, and originally, it was about a woman called Meg Richardson uh -huh. who ran a motel and she was a widower, and her second husband tried to kill her. And then she suffered with amnesia, and she disappeared on the QE2, having apparently died in a fire. Oh, whoa, okay. Wow. But well, my movie's not like that. Okay. <laughs> it's really different. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Let's have a look at a clip, mm -hmm. and then we're going to talk some okay. more. Okay, here we go. He killed somebody? No, he did not mm -hmm. kill anybody. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Mimi. Okay, he had a car. He was coming to L.A. Just don't be upset. I'm on a road trip with a killer, and you're telling me not to be upset? He'll hear you. Oh, my God. Hey, what's up? 
so I think you know it's gone very well for you, and you're, you're very good and very natural in this film. I, if your acting career takes off, will you kind of leave the uh, the pop world behind? Do you think? No, I like music is my heart, my soul. I'll never be able to leave that. I'm not a girl. Different acting is so different and so new for me. I yeah. think I'm gonna try this for a while. Okay, one exciting thing is that Kim Cattrall, Samantha from Sex and the City, uh -huh. she plays your mother. Yes. I wanted to find my mom. I know she wants to see me. She's just scared. Can I help you? It's me, Mama. Lucy. Is it true that you were going to be in, se in Sex and City? Actually, they asked me to be in it, but um, I, I couldn't be in it. And then I did. The girl came on, Kim Cattrall, and she did um, the movie with me. And then they made up rumors that they asked me again, but they never have asked me again. But if they did now, I would definitely do would it. Would you? Because it's a great show. Yeah, I love it. I, I think, think it's, it's awesome. It's my most favorite show in the whole world. Well, I could talk about this for ages, but it's obviously <laughs> not about that. Anyway, do you find that obviously being you know, the, the megastar that you are, does that mean it is hard? And I would have thought it is to be taken seriously as an actress. You know what? I was a little um, nervous at first. You know, because with me being so much, it's really hard to make that transition as a singer and to yeah. act. People really don't take you seriously. But you know what? I really loved Crossroads and I loved the story. And, um, you know, I was willing to take that risk and see. OK. Now, your, your younger sister, is it Jamie Lynn? Mm -hmm. She appears in this as yeah. a younger version of you. Mm -hmm. Are you hoping that she will develop like a, a, a super huge career like your own? Is, is that the plan for you her? You know what? She is so talented. She has an amazing voice, but that's definitely something that she'll have to do in the future. Like, she's going to be a kid right now and do her thing, but there's no telling. I'm not going to be able to tell her what to do when she's okay. 17 or 16. Is it so. a good life being Britney, Spe being Britney Spears? Do you, do you enjoy it? Yeah. Because I just imagine it's a big round of promotions. I mean, I'm sure you're enjoying this interview. Well, but, you, but, you know, know, like, I mean, you know what? Personally, I love performing and doing the movies and stuff, but yeah. honestly, the interviews aren't the best part about what I do. <laughs> Except <laughs> this one, which I know you're enjoying. <laughs> but it's it's totally fine, you know. Yeah, yeah. Today's my last day, so that's cool. OK, you got a holiday after this? Yes. Or? Have you? Are you, are you going away somewhere, disappearing? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you don't want to tell me where, because um, paparazzi will follow you. <laughs> but anyway, it's going very well. But it'd be no can we talk later? I've got many more questions to ask. I look forward to that. Good. OK, we're back after this. Very attractive young lady, isn't she, Rich? Sorry? Very attractive young lady, Brittany. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, 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 yeah, she's nice. She, she looked good there, and uh, and she was in a very good mood, which is fortunate given what happens later, <laughs> which you'll see in about five, six minutes' time. Still to come this morning, Zig and Zagger on the show, and uh, <laughs> and they're talking to a fascinating guy called Benedict Allen. Um, also, I believe that we've we got have some big breakfast gold, That's which is nice, news. nice bit of big breakfast gold. And Wayne Hemingway oh, is in the house talking. Yeah. Yeah. All that is uh, is after this very important announcement. In the beginning, there was nothing. Barren emptiness. Then came the big breakfast. And it was outstanding in every way. But some were afraid of the joy and brightness. We want to be in the dark again, they said. But that's not for another two days, so tune in while you can. The Big Breakfast. Don't just watch it, live it! <laughs> Travesty, wrongness and everything else. But yes, it does, it does end this Friday. It's just wrong. It does end this Friday, but, OK, as you know, there's a competition for you to come down. If you've already entered uh, that competition, then don't worry, you could still be a winner. That's right, but if you haven't already entered, well then, I'm afraid you have missed your chance to hobnob oh. with the stars and fly. I'm sorry. I've always wanted to say that, though. Um, oh, hobnob. <laughs> hobnob. No, just that you've missed your chance, so don't bother entering. Oh, but no. sorry. No, honestly. No, no, no. So I've always just wanted to say no. Oh. Oh. But listen, we had an absolutely enormous response, and that's why it's too late, because otherwise the place would be far too jam-packed. Uh, the competition is now closed. Oh. Yeah, but if you have entered in time, you might still hear from us. All right, so all is not lost. Uh, we're working our way through the calls. Uh, Cockney Vic is there. Look, 
Beaver, yeah. Beavering away like an eager beaver. <laughs> Super. Uh, but so, so if you get the call, then you could be a winner. Um, but uh, don't just turn up, all right, because we won't let you in. We've got some very big security. Actually, no, we haven't got security. I've got no, Mike McLean no. on the yeah. door. He's not going to be letting you in if you haven't got a proper ticket and your name's not there. You're right. not getting in. But listen, if uh, if we don't call, uh, then unfortunately, as Lisa says, you aren't in. But it doesn't mean that we don't love you, viewers. Yay! Yay! Love Howard as well, who I met last night um, at, at the after 24 hour party people after show oh, yeah. party because he said he's watched every single big breakfast. Oh, so ever. big up to Howard. Big up in here. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. It's time for a bit of a break afterwards. We've got some more big breakfast. Go! Yeah. Right now, this is Channel 4, and you are watching the big breakfast. Yeah.